जननी जन्म भूमि स्वर्गाद अपि गरियसी बिहाफ ऑफ द बॉडीज ऑफ ट्रस्टीज एंड आवर बिलीवर्ड फाउंडर द क्रिएटर ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड पीस डोम ऑल द स्टाफ स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ एमआईटी वर्ल्ड पीस यूनिवर्सिटी एमआईटी एडीटी यूनिवर्सिटी एंड वेरियस अदर इंस्टीट्यूशंस लेट मी कॉम्प्लीमेंट प्रोफेसर कोल दुरम वन ऑफ द सीनियर रिसर्चर थिंकर फिलोसोफर एंड हु हैज डेडिकेटेड हिज लाइफ फॉर दिस मिशन फॉर ऑफ इंटरफेथ and uh, because of his efforts this conference of uh, g20 interfaith is uh, uh, we are able to hold it here thank you professor cole for your efforts i welcome you once again uh, uh, behalf of all my uh, this collective strength of this institution uh, thank you so much so we have another very important guest sitting on the dais uh, just now swami uh, amrita varsapurananda puri ji president of amrita vishwavidyalaya just now we heard him i i wish to welcome him also from my bottom of heart uh, we heard uh, also catherine marshall the professor and senior fellow of executive director from uh, georgetown university i think uh, she shared her uh, uh, you know the expressions here also we have dr dalbir singh ji who is also one of the like minded soul who is committed for this very mission of uh, interfaith and the, all the we as a world and whole society as one family thank you uh, honorable darbil singh ji for your participation and uh, on the dais we have honorable sheikh al islam al al shakur parshad ji a spiritual leader of muslims in uh, uh, azerbaijan and thank you so much for your participation uh, we have our own uh, who is very well associated with mit world peace university from many years honorable aaj bishop flex machado ji thank you so much for your participation we are grateful that uh, you are uh, always there to support this uh, very idea of mit world peace university and the mission of our founder dr vishwanath karat um, i have no words to express my happiness my dear friends uh, uh, particularly the, all the delegates from different parts of the country um, our vice chancellor pro vice chancellor dr chitnis professor pande and many other leaders they have put lot of efforts to construct and built up this very historic important conference happening in amrut kal uh, that is also one very important thing 75 years of independence uh, what a great news yesterday last almost 3 years we have been discussing uh, my dear friends that can we change the name of india to bharat and uh, we are hopeful that the bill of this particular change of our country's name which is the original name used to be a bharat and uh, 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 and 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 we have been championing this very thought process last almost 3 years under the aegis of mit world peace university uh, uh, and i am very happy today that uh, uh, truly if we have to really go towards this very meaning of bharat and the the very mission and the purpose of our our overall ethos of this country i think uh, uh, this such dialogue will definitely take us to a different level uh there are only two three important points which i wish to share my dear friends that uh, yeah, of course the as a, as a solution for uh, this uh, various ideas uh, naturally in next two three days time till tomorrow evening yesterday also we heard some members discussing but uh, i always believe that um, uh, what this example here uh, in front of your eyes the one of the world biggest dome for the humanity Uh, what our founder has created and we all are witnessing sitting in this very beautiful monumental structure and uh, 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 almost over 12 years he worked on this very mission my dear friends uh, the very one word of swami vivekananda the unification of science and spirituality alone can bring peace to the mankind this one word really you know inspired in his lifetime and uh, at the age of 10 12 he started his journey and today what you see through this very his manifestation this edifice what is constructed here as a world peace dome which is one of the unique structure in the history of the mankind uh, what we see here uh, i i wish to communicate to all the students and the staff of my institution also and some international delegates also that we have created one very unique uh, world peace syllabus here at this place to to really take this idea of world peace ahead this laboratory of the world peace here is one very important aspect but but to take this very mission ahead we have beautifully we have carved one syllabus and i wish that all the world universities there are i was told there are over 20000 universities worldwide my dear friends if they truly resolve 
and some such syllabus if we can adopt, I think many changes we can see in next 10, 20, 30 years down the line. Uh, yeah, because we as intelligentsia, we as academia particularly, we have to understand that uh, the, 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 the fundamental, whatever area those developments of technological advancements or in the, or the medical field or any other field, these are very fundamental uh, uh, leaders here who have laid the foundation for the humanity and they have given those thoughts uh, for that how to live and how not to live. That is the message our founder is trying to give here through this uh, very mission and some such practical approaches if we adopt in our education system without any ego, without any, 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 any such boundaries amongst ourselves that uh, I may be a proud Hindu, somebody is a Muslim and as we all know that the, the religion is a way of life. Religion is never bigger than, I mean, uh, uh, humanity. Any religion, for that matter, is never, it is, and, and rather every religion teaches humanity. And I personally, with my little fundamental understanding, I feel somewhere in the journey of lifetime, uh, uh, we, from the ages, with whatever we as a human being, with our own selfish thought process, sometime maybe we have adulterated, very purest, those fundamental, our scriptures of our, all the religions, for, uh, you know, I want to uh, say that. Uh, so, so, so and, and we as a, now the 21st century and the modern, uh, with the current times, uh, you know, we all need to think on these lines, my dear friends, that, that with the time, how, how do we really change? And uh, uh, whatever that, uh, uh, those uh, uh, bad elements in every religion, how, how can we really filter? Just now, little film, what we saw just now, all the lawmakers, particularly even the politicians of, of the world, we all have to really understand. In, in my country, the biggest curse today, I feel that the casteism and the communalism and in public life, in politics particularly, this is the biggest challenge. We all know that, my dear friends, how the votes are given to the, you know, the, 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 the distributed on the basis of caste and religion. Uh, so, so how do we really change that? So I'm giving this direct question and the thought process in front of you, my dear process, that we all have to really provoke and think in this direction. And that's how, for the first time, United States, I must make a mention, one of the very important democracy in the world, uh, a very mature democracy, where two political parties and one language. In, in, in my country here in Bharat, my dear friends, we have 100 political parties and 100 languages. In last 75 years, it never happened that all the lawmakers we have 4,500 lawmakers. United States has some 7,500 state senators from except the congressmen. So all these MLAs, particularly for the first time after independence, they gathered. And on the similar line, you know, the, this very mission, the peace building is a very ultimate state of, for any society to evolve. Or, and, and for that very purpose, we all have gathered here, my dear friends. And that's how the leadership building, the governance and the democracy and the peace building is a mission of this very MIT World Peace University and World Peace Dome, my dear friends. So, so we really need to think as even the political parties in, in my country, one of the uh, such a over a billion population we have. So, 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 so the interfaith such dialogues are so important. And I believe that this particular monument, it took some 12 to 15 years for our founder to create. And it is not easy to make many such monuments all over the world. But but, but I was just thinking yesterday, what, what can be the another solution? I mean, every cities of the world, it may really sound a little utopian and uh, imaginary, but my feeling, can we have the gardens of peace? Various beautiful gardens where all such statues of all these great men of the world, if we can install and, you know, the youngsters of our country can be guided in that direction. Right now, here, Baba Bullesha Ji, Gautam Buddha, Prabhu Ramchandra, Jesus Christ, what a unique message, my dear friends. Uh, we are sitting under this very beautiful dome and, 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 and all of us, uh, our energy is getting multiplied here at this place and uh, we are carrying some message. So the gardens of peace, can we have gardens of peace? Something like that, even, even I'm thinking about the politics, I said, the political leaders, we have the issues of reservations, we have issues of, uh, you know, the casteism. So how do we really deal with, uh, with such important issues um, uh, and, and politics plays a very important role. So politicians and the political parties uh, and political party presidents, their role is uh, most important in the vastness of the globe. That's what I feel, my dear friends. And uh, 
United Nations and various bodies are working in this direction. Uh, but, but we as an education system of the world, we, we really have to come close and think in this direction uh, that uh, the peace syllabus and all such approaches uh, and the, the intelligentsia, the academia, if they really think in this direction, uh, many good things can happen very soon. That is my, my belief. And uh, uh, there are only one or two points which I, I, I wish to express. And I will stop my speech here. About the religion, what I mentioned, and here, you know, one of the beautiful quotes has come in front of me. No religion is bigger than the humanity itself. Better humans at the heart and mind makes better world. So all the students, we really need to think at, and, and really analyze ki what is the religion all about. We, in, we, we, as our country, we have a dedicated session on national education policy, and they have definitely imbibed certain things in the education system of my country. But, but I think we really need to have a deeper uh, involvement, particularly academia of the country and the world, that, that what is our education system is talking about. Uh, the, uh, yeah, because we as a knowledge society and the world society, so many advancements, the Chandrayaan we celebrated just now, and many other wonderful things are happening. But, but we as a world and we as a world family and the society and the happiness of all of us, uh, how do we really achieve? So lastly, I just wish to quote one more quotation I want to express here. Peace, harmony, brotherhood are the marks of humanity. They are the heart of every religion. They are the ultimate weapons against all the powerful weapons. So thank you so much once again, my dear friends. Please do think about the solutions, you know, the probable solutions. Um, uh, wherein the and, and, and those can be practical solutions to transform uh, the humanity and the society uh, and the world. Thank you so much. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you.